St. Francis, you know, had a tremendous love for um, the infant Jesus, especially he had a great devotion to the crib. And two years before he died, he went to a small town called Greccio, where he set up um, a crib, a manger, and he brought in animals and gathered the people from around Greccio. But he didn't place an infant in the crib. And that always made scholars wonder why. But he did have a, an altar built over the crib and he celebrated mass. And I think that that Greccio event reminds us that God is a living God and only and cannot be born in a plastic statue, that God must be born in a human person. And, and Greccio as a celebration of Christmas reminds us that we are Christmas people, that we are the manger of God's birth, and that when we allow God to be born in us, that Christ then becomes a living presence in the world, uh, not just uh, in name only, but in our lives, by the way we live our lives. Uh, and that means to live in uh, openness to others, to forgiveness, to mercy, to compassion. Um, we are the hands and the face and the feet of Christ uh, in the world, as St. Teresa prayed. Uh, and until we can become fully that body in our lives, uh, Christ really just remains an idea. So I think St. Francis reminds us that uh, Christ has no body on earth but yours and mine. And he himself in his own life really strove to live wholeheartedly in the Christ. Um, he allowed that Christ to become so much his life that one of the brothers had a dream after the death of Francis. And in the dream, he saw on one hand, he saw um, a figure of Christ and the other he saw Francis and he couldn't distinguish Christ from Francis and he said, isn't this the Christ? And then he thought to himself, no, this is Brother Francis. And the dream really spoke to him. It speaks to us that Francis and the, and the living presence of Christ were one. So he, he himself was spoken of as a second Christ in the Middle Ages. But I think his life also points to what we're, our lives are about, and that is to be Christ renewed in our world today. So Christmas is a time for renewing that mystery of God's love in our lives and to allow that love to become the flesh of our lives. Um, that it may become, you might say, uh, the living presence in the world.